Hello everybody, this is Jack Lance 1000 and we're going to Juicy back and get back to our episode of Over the Hedge. Last time we went through a shooting gallery and almost got shot. This time we got a bit uh, we got a really challenging challenge ahead of us. Yep. We gotta survive the chase while avoiding obstacles and survive with 80% more health. Yeah. We got to avoid being eaten by this dog. So, yeah. You gotta make sure that you got more than 80% health left. Did he actually get to make out a word he said there? Because I didn't. Yeah, it's okay. So we got to circus hat here. I love this dog because it goes out. You just can't make out a word he says. Um, no, he was raised um, in the wild. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We sub oh, we've unlocked a new minigame. We've unlocked Bumper Carts Area 2. And we've completed both objectives. Yeah. So, that's the end of that video. <laughs> no, not really. We're not going to just do the maintenance room and have it just last a minute and 50 seconds. we got plenty of time for one more. Uh, it could be fun. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> so yeah, we now have the popcorn machine and the laptop and the projector and some more hats. Oh, well first. Let's go on another heist. Who else is up with the storage lock? We're doing okay. Um, let's do RJ and Stella. We never had them two work together before. So yeah. But let's have a look at that new mini game that we unlocked. So it was Bumper Carts Area Two. You remember the controls: A to accelerate, L or R to um, do a boost, and X to reverse. It's a smaller area this time, and we're using RJ this time. Well, oh god, that was a good start. Right, we've just got to avoid all the enemies and... Oh, look at that! We've got Gladdy! I didn't know you could have Gladdy in this! Oh, yeah. Okay, get some armor. Oh, that's nice! We'd managed to get a double attack on there. So we got Fern, Stella and Gladdy in this. Whoop. Come on, Gladdy. Deal with me. Deal with me. There's a heart. If you grab that heart, you actually regain health on your bumper car. So, we didn't see them in the previous course, did we? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, nice laugh, Gla um, Gladdy. I'm glad he laughed at the joke. Ha <laughs> ha! I had to do with that. Right, Fern's not out just yet. Oh, I've taken some damage. Right, so we gain some boost now. Wow, glad he's seriously out to get me. Nana, nah, you can't catch me. You can't catch me. I'm a feisty vacuum. I'm escaping a you. Yeah, he got some more health. Nice. <laughs> oh, yes. Glad he's out. And so is Stella. Come on, Fern. Let's do this. Hey. And 
and we win. We win. All right, let's go back to the woods and let's do the next mission. Right then, so next mission we got Smith's Birthday Party. This mission can be a pretty interesting yet challenging mission. So without any further ado, let's go straight in. We got four primary objectives and our secondary objectives. Destroy all presents and free the porcupine kid. Wherever the porcupine kid is. I like how um, RJ was sounding like he didn't have any idea what he was doing, yet he was the one who planned the idea in the cutscene. It was just too hilarious, that was. Way too hilarious. So, yeah, we got some gophers here to begin with in this mission, and also... We get the secondary objective that whatever you see, destroy. Literally destroy. There's a CD in that um, pionta of a turtle right there, which looks almost like fern. Except it wasn't. Right, let's attack this gopher. Wow, how many of these gophers are there? Jeez. There we go. Got rid of all of them now. So now we can proceed forward. We got a little statue here of a turtle. If you pick that up, you can take it over there. That's one statue done. Now you need to get the other statue. Oh, we got a golf club. Hey, look at that. Stella and RJ got matching weapons. <laughs> Right, so we got the frog statue up there. We got to literally destroy the castle. Not really a nice thing to hear somebody say, but to be honest, we got no choice. Yeah, with the um, presence, you just have to hit literally just... You literally have to hit the presence just once. There we go, we've destroyed all the presents now. I know, I feel a bit guilty doing it, to be honest, because it's somebody's birthday in this mission, and we don't want to, like, literally hurt their feelings. Of course, RJ doesn't care. He doesn't even care about how Fern feels about running on power cables, yet he's actually not the one doing it. Right then, so... Yeah, so uh, with um, Stella's special move there, they actually it actually dazes the opponents. It makes them like go all woozy. 
Right, so, yeah, I think these enemies keep spawning all the time. You just gotta, like, keep attacking the castle. There you see? We're breaking it bit by bit. Right, come on. Attack you, attack you, attack you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's what Luigi would say. Right, so he's dealt with half damage now at the minute, and these enemies are really are going straight forward. Whoa! Oh! Hat! There's a hat! Yeah? Princess hat! Right, come on. The gopher's coming! The gopher's coming! And now he's going straight back, straight for RJ again. That's it, RJ. Distract him. There we go. Last little bit now. Right, if you just keep doing this, you will be fine. Oh, we lost the princess hat. Right, there we go, it's almost destroyed. There we go. Now, I'm just going to go straight away and pick up the um, frog statue and just run. Literally run. Oh god, those rabbits are catching up. Those rabbits are catching up. There we go. So we've done that. Oh my god. How many times has RJ literally fainted? Come on. I think it's fair to say, Rabbis, but you skunk. You got skunked. That's what I said I would say. Because, um, I actually was wanting to make the joke say, you stink, but it said you stunk. But, but I say skunk instead of stunk. If you kind of get what I mean. Right, you gotta be careful with that rat shooting the, um... Oh, frick. Right, let's get rid of that rat first. We'll get the freeze gun. There we go. We'll run over here. Get that. Right, we'll just attack him, attack him. Wow, is RJ seriously still down? Jeez. Oh, there's still some enemies over there, that's why. Okay, I get it now. Well, there's the porcupine kid. Gotta watch out for that flamingo. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Um, okay. We s we managed to make a porcupine kid run through a run through metal bars. How? That, that just makes no sense! Right, am I expecting this cutscene to save RJ's butt? There he is. Took him long enough. So yeah, we've got to run along the wires. We've got to be careful not to get electrocuted. If you see them coming, just change lanes. You can do a double jump so you please. Ah, right, damn it, damn it, damn it. I think um, both Fern and um, Hammy would say something funny if they get electrocuted, but I don't know for definite what they say. Right, come on, let's get a move on. Wait, did I just say like, we have the lightning but without the majesty? I literally couldn't tell what he said. There we go, we're doing fine at the minute. We're just leaving RJ in the does. Oh, CD, CD. That's how you get that, by the way. Is 
See, I'm just making this look easy now. There we go. Yeah, you can't catch up with me. There we go. We're now in the attic. And that is the end of the mission. So, when they come into that, I say so pretty cool things to the end to this episode. So, next time on Over the Hedge, we are going to be doing the next mission. See you guys then.